pleasure to introduce Elkanon, who will be speaking on Carl Kuzo duality. Thank you. Um, so, the topic is parallel duality, but in general, it's going to be about formally more factorization algebra. Right. So, like last week, we saw uh, topological factorization algebras. Um, which were like some generalization of E2 algebras. E2 algebras are locally constant factorization, topological factorization algebras. Um, I guess one feature that we have for E2 algebras is that we can actually multiply. We take two points, everything is locally constant, so we can collide them and get the values on like and, and get multiplication. So in the case of E2, we have a circle of multiplication. But in particular, we can actually multiply, which we don't have in the case where it's not locally constant. Because, well, when we change our case with the point, we make a circle. Um, but the, the main point of today is to give a holomorphic paradigm uh, and what we have in a holomorphic paradigm is we can even though we cannot actually multiply sections we can take the approximation the uh, Laurent series approximation of two sections when they approach each other so if I have a x b y we can take something that's supposed to Look like the limit of that as x, y approach each other. And this is supposed to be what is we call operator product expansion. Okay. Um, so the first formalism of that, which I will talk about for a minute, it won't have to be very honest. This is vertex operator algebra. That would be, I say, the first formalism of this idea. Um, so the, the data of a vertex operator algebra is we have a vector space V, and then we have the thing, vector space plus. So we have a unit and we have derivation. And then I guess the important thing is the multiplication. So we have a map B into B goes to B. Plus minus one. So we take two sections, and this is supposed the result is supposed to be the first expansion as we that bring them closer to each other. Then that goes plus along this axis. It's not very it's a lot of unclear axes. So this is supposed to be a almost factorization algebra on a formal list. Um so that's a first definition we have to talk about. Um then Philip Dreamfeld gave um, a geometric metric definition that is also can be defined globally on an entire curve. So curve happening, which is higher on algebras. So X, let's say over can we work with oh, is everything zero, I guess. Um, this is going to be smooth projection curve. Um, 
So I'm going to give, I guess, all, like the first part of the talk, I will give in, in, incomplete definitions. And later there will be like without all the details and later I will leave all the capability. So what is a parallel algebra? So um, parallel algebra on X is, so we have a D module on X and then we have something similar to this multiplication that we had there. So we have a map from, so maybe we have a diagonal and then x, x squared, and then we have the complement, which I by j. So we have map. We need to give a map like that. So basically like this is um, two sections of A, but we can have a pole along the diagonal. And that's for the map for A, and I'm pretty sure it's like one is not um I think so in the case where this is omega, I need this to be the map I guess on junction is so, so I have like this lower star, this upper street, like delta lower star of power three going to A going to uh, J and then the next one is G. So it's omega shift of power three. Oh, oh. Okay, it looks different. So all right, so no shift by one together. Those will both like if A is in degree zero, then both of those will be in degree zero. I see. All right. Um, and then steps find so. Okay, right here. So it's basically supposed to behave like a Lee algebra. That's fine. Uh, Dictative and just for the identity. I'm not writing the details because later we'll see that it is actually familiar. So for now I'm just saying it's going to be something like that. And then I guess one more thing, which is usually we also require the units or the unit will count or whatever. I'm not going to talk about units at least until we get to the last part of the talk. So for now there are no units. Um, all right, so yeah, so examples. Um, simplest example is on the other x shifted by minus one. So, in that case, this map is kind of logical, it just wants to get jumped in. So, Um, this is the same as um, this will So this is just because this, uh, so we have a college embedding, so um, this one is like adjunct to that, so it's the um, uh, exact triangle that we get for any assumption. Um, so, and shrink pull back of the dual identity that we get dual identity chip, so. Uh, 
because there's a shift also in the, the boundary map. So the it should actually be minus one in the second oh. as well. Yeah. Um, yeah, all right. So this is the map we want. So in this case, the I mean this is like the unit um parallel algebra, so um that the jump map is the same as getting the rest of the ones with the action. Yes. Like if you have yeah, the, the map here from here to here is the one with the shift that direction. So you can describe the push forward along the diagonal as only the polar part of something. And then here you have the entire power series, and then you just take the polar. And then Another more, more generally, we have a community of algebra in the modulus X. So it's basically going to be the same. I guess I call it function here. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. None of us are Let's try. Yeah, Let's yeah. See. Oh, it is, it should, for sure. Yeah, should be the point. So, that is going to go to one, two, and then this is by definition the third shriek full deck of the exterior power it is that it ends up for that shriek ends up for that. So. Itself. And then we just apply the implication of A. So that's not forward for A. So, in fact, this is basically a characteristic. So, this is a community. I will. Algebra. I mean, I'm going to put it right now. So it's not like a million. 
What? Sorry. I was saying the thing you construct that's not abelian is a parallel. The bracket is not zero, so it's it's not. Yeah. Yep. So Lista algebra. So Lista algebra is basically almost the same except for the follow class, except for Except for like so here we take second and you allow fold over the diagonal and in the list algebra we cannot. List algebra gonna be a team of one x and then uh, a big bracket. Anyway, point here. Um, so, for example, for any, we would have L a sheet of leaf algebras. In particular, we can do constant. Uh, then L and go right over the level X is a list of algebra. So, break this both to satisfy something. Sorry? Break this both to satisfy something. Yeah, that'll be fine when, yeah, correct. And satisfy the same axiom. So, that's that's the same as the uh, And the community is actually identical. There is an opportunity to have to try, right? Yes. No, the opportunity is right. right? Uh, uh, sorry. Yeah. This, Yeah, it's a good thing. So you, you can't always the algorithm start with the same floor tree. That that sure. But you can't always use the adjunction to put delta upper star on the left side because it may not be defined. Like for example, in this in this example, delta upper star, the box square of that thing is not well defined D Marcus, so that's one thing. The right. it's like the hmm? we'll leave that. Yeah, but yeah. because it's not going on. Yeah, yeah, basically. Actually, yeah. Can you can you think of it as the algebra that's asked to measure the level Yeah, it's going to be that's the main point yeah. of today is to define the Lie algebra in uh, some like define um complex maybe we look proper such that this will adapt to the other. Um, and then the main point of me talking today about these algebras is that we can use them to create our algebra. So we have always have a forget like by restriction. If we have a map when we allow fold, of course, we have a map without the line fold. So there is always a forgettable construct. Going to have to control. These start algebra with parallel algebras on X and same thing is with the left adjoint both parallel and double. Um, so, um, so for example, um, maybe I will. So this point wise, so this is not going to be a description, a construction of the uh, parallel and double general, but. Point wise, so the fiber um, over a point X is going to be the image representation from uh, flat sections on the um, open form of these two flat sections on the function. Uh, of the three middle. Yeah, everything is over. Yeah, there is a curve. Then. So this formula is specific for, for the curve, but just like something is, you can do it right here. Right, right. Yeah, oh, I, I mean, you are saying if that will work. I, I don't know. I don't know. Because the formula, right. just the formula seems to work in general case, right? Yeah, I mean, the definition, I mean, I don't know if this definition that I gave here is going to be now. Definitely, the definition later of a parallel run bridge that will be a generalizable to higher dimensions. But I 
one thing that happens specifically for curves is that you can have chiral algebras that are actually concentrated in matrix zero. And that basically never happens on higher dimension. Like single matrix graph. It never happens. Yeah, I mean, it's something to do with the fact that the you know you have these boundary maps and the yeah. Yeah. All right. Can I ask though, what happens if you take um, most of the form is drugs in any of red varieties? So what index is the point? Only index. Huh? I mean, if X is a formal disk, I can give you a better answer. No, but like, like what it's supposed, supposed to give you some, maybe it's just structure. No structure to affect. No, maybe because it's a field, field. I mean, I don't know, but, but the main point is that you need a puncture or something. A puncture I mean, point is an empty set. Fine. No, oh, I mean, the star algebra will form. The star algebra definitely won't form. You don't have any. Okay, number five. Yeah, I guess you're asking. Yeah, I mean, you have What's up? Anyway. Uh, more general and okay, so now this will be um, this is already a Lisa algebra, and then we will have some temporal extension like uh, omega case for any uh, by symmetry by linear form on G. Um, And the Carl envelope of this algebra, this is the Katsumudi Carl algebra. And by the formula here, we get that fiber of that point is exactly the vacuum representation of level. And so it's exactly this representation form. So this is. Um, positive loops, and this is all loops. We use the trivial one and we add a single extension. So we can get the um, now I guess I can use this slide. Yeah, well, there is a, an explicit description of the car multiplication here. But, uh, um, Did I have to this parallel development algebra? You have to take some closure and things. Okay, then by the action of the center of the flag. Oh, that's right. It's, it's the same as for all. Yeah, yeah. Of the but yeah, it's a little bit higher. Yeah, well, for that, I guess I shouldn't talk about unit because there is like a unit map to. So a unit of words, but the unit is a map from the unit car algebra from omega capital to everything. So this the just the um um the list algebra corresponding to G will be unical and then so we have two maps from omega in the central extension and we identify. Well I don't think it makes sense to say the least are algebra is It's rather like you take the car envelope, you kind of identify oh. that thing with the unit of car algebra. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Okay, so let's 
So all of that was a description of, um, so we wanted to generalize the idea of have assigning a, like a vector space or whatever to a point and then uh, being able to bring them as close as we want but without actually identifying them. Um, and that was the idea of a Clara algebra. So all the information is the collision, but we can also just generalize the definition of topological gravitation algebras to the uh, what you mentioned. So this is gravitation algebras. I don't think the definition was actually there. So that's true. There was not a pattern. There was a definition without details, and there's going to be a definition without details of the algebra, and then there will be a definition with details. Uh, so, in the topological setting, a factorization algebra was some sheet, the run space. So, run x like limit of set with projection of the i so then s to non-empty finite subsets of s so just normalize space of finite subsets of uh, x and um, call them Sorry, eleven. Oh. Um. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, first of all, I need to define a category of the models on run X. So let's say. Uh, for each, so here the diagram of finite set with suggestion for each um, suggestion from J to Phi, get a diagonal map from X to Phi to X to J, and then we have an open sub scheme of that, which is. Um, for any alpha j, alpha j, alpha j. So, I mean, if this is the identity, this is exactly the complement of the main diagonal. So, e modules run x. This condition there is going to be e. And so the so the information of the modulus on run s at run x is a collection of the modulus of x to the i and then plus compatibility along the diagonals. So um meaning more. I we have I'm gonna put the a collection of M I, which is the and D model on X the I. Then for each diagonal map we need to identify for J I identify M I we pull that along the diagonal. Um, so, this is just a D module on RAM X. Now, in the topological setting, we had the, with the formulation of what is a factorization algebra was using a shift condition that was using the fact that, uh, um, using the fact that each point is going to be, so we have open sets which are uh, just this around our point, which is something we don't have here. So, instead of 
Um, so instead of a shift condition, there will be a sterilization property. So here is point. algebra on x is so first of all we need a d model on plan x and then the main idea of the shift condition was basically that as long as the point are disjoint we just have if i have n disjoint point we have just have n copy of a and the the only thing that happens that is non-trivial is what happens when they collapse um, so, plus TV application. So, uh, I guess this is again not going to get called. Let's say. So, whatever. Okay, so at least uh, AI. So, at least when you restrict to uh, the locus where all the points are disjoint. This is just going to be I copies. So this is the um, And then, so as, uh, outside of the diagonal, we see. To construct a relationship algebra is trivial, and the main point is to glue it along the embedding diagonal. So, if we have algebra, so we have a map from. Project two is identity of two elements. Um, sorry, a a one and the two times. So first of all, by the factorization property, this is this this one is the same as this one. So it's just okay. a two, and then by a junction. Sorry? Yes, plus like this identification, yeah. So you need to no give way. identification between these. You call them properly. Oh. It's called Yes, they will that will be uh, so this is definition because uh, later they will be a universal yeah. definition with what exactly so for now, let's just pretend that we have the abilities. So we have that, and then the adjunction will give us that here. And now there's okay. um, And then again, so now this one is identified with A1. This is just by being a theme of one run X. We have this identification. So this one. One, okay, so we have a map from uh, two copies of A with all the diagonal to the push forward of one copy of A along the diagonal with a shift. And the point is that this is actually a structure of a spiral size. One. No, let's just say eight. Yes. They would shoot about. Yes. 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 Um, one of the main points of 
to our address is that this gives an equivalence between factorization algebras parallel algebra. Um, and the main goal for today is to give proof, not the original proof of the original, but the proof in the paper of Francis Gatory. And the main idea of the proof is to describe, so, so is first of all, to give, to give a monoidal, symmetric monoidal structure. structure on a category of D modules on run X. Such that uh, first of all we will have so with respect to this symmetric monoidal structure we will have a notion of B algebra in X and there will be the construction of tabular algebraic complex from Lie algebra in any complex, from any from Lie algebra to four commutative four algebras in G modules and plan X. I'm gonna start by the grand circle X. And this will restrict, so such that the main point is that with, it will be a monoidal structure such that inside this category, there is a full subcategory of. Um, Higher algebra in X. So, higher algebra in X will be some sort of the algebra on run X with extra condition. The extra condition is going to be that it is just um, uh, supported on the main diagonal. And so, first of all, okay, so first of all it's going to be show that this is an equivalent and it will restrict. So, it will be taken up for us X. So, the decision algebra on X will be a co a co commuted, co commuted co algebra on with respect to this intermodal structure plus a condition. It's again, going to be a subcategory, and this equivalence will be written. So, 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 let me demonstrate. Viral algebra is a subcategory of the algebras. The algebra with respect to this, this mysterious monoidal structure. Yeah, there are going to be a, some monoidal structures. So there are going to be, in fact, two monoidal structures on T modules on run X. So that one of them will give you car algebra when you take the others. Okay, I think you have a algebra, you can have a Yeah, I mean, if you have a structure of a community algebra, is structure of a community for algebra plus condition. So the structure is this, then you have a condition. Kind of looks like if you move that J upper tree to the right side, is it, so it's like A sub I mapping to J lower star J upper tree. Okay, yeah, so that's the third topic, which is no it's not Structures on run X. So, maybe I will. So, if any C is the magic monoidal category, category, yeah, anyway, uh, commutative algebra in C is a subcategory of. Uh, Controls from finite set, pointed finite set with trajectories to C. Yeah. So it's going to be sub, sub, sub it's going to be some, a condition, and the condition is going to be that the projection is going to a project. Um, so the goal, first of all, is so the goal is to define uh, two monoidal structures on. Um, so yeah, so first of all, what is going to be the category C? So here, it's going to be the category, like, 
increased mass. So, uh, which is let's say just um, so correspondences, correspondences in which of spaces on affine. So, what is the category C? Uh, So, I mean, I guess in particular, it contains correspondences of schemes, which is uh, almost all we need. And we need, so what we need is correspondence of schemes, but also correspondence of like um, of collisions. Object. Here is going to be. Uh, between, uh, yeah, just corresponding to X and Z. Uh, I mean, I'm obvious. So, uh, objects are going to be listed just uh, uh, free stacks or free shift on half time schemes, and morphisms are going to be correspondent. Um, so, now finally to the definition. First, the defin so definition of the first monoidal structure. So, the first one is start monoidal structure. On the, just on the run space, so on run object of C. Uh, so here, the stuff for the standard of structure, we don't need the correspondences already. It's, uh, it's like it's, it's an actual arrow between spaces, and it's just going to be the union. So the I goes to run X, union of finite subsets. And then, our monoidal structure is the one that we need correspondences for. So, this is going to be run x i. Um, here, they're going to be the sub subspace of. Um, so, we have here we have i sets of finite subsets. Here, we want the i sets to be disjoint from each other. And here, set S star. Sorry, I had to get this. When you said, what is F set S star? F final set projection pointed. If you want, like, non empty. Finite sets with surjections not pointed right because you're doing like you're doing like non neutral I think for non neutral you just need so if you take if you did don't take if you did all math and not just surjections you get unitary. I think I think it doesn't if, if you take surjection it doesn't matter you will get a symmetric structure. I think it's, so I'm not just pointed then I think you you get like an abstract. Oh no no, no, no you cannot sorry. have only yeah, I think it's the same. So I think structure can be that, but then you have the trivial community otherwise just gonna be a point and, and, and sort of that will correspond to with how it's, it's they're more like they're the commutative subgroups, right? Because they're they're non-unital and they're they're sort of with respect to the Cartesian. Yeah. Mm -hmm. structure, right? Do you have another notation? I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, just saying. I guess yeah, everything maybe wish I should say is everything here is non-human. So yeah. I should add every time there is primitive algebra or algebra or something, just add a small thing in you. So same object of that. So it's a category of we have pre shift on half out, it's just pre stacks. So pre shift on affine schemes. So that's those are the objects, but more reasons are going to be correspondence. So the wrong spaces are objects. Run space assigns to affine schemes the finite subsets of S point of X. It was the start of the structure, you take the graph of the The what, sorry? You take the graph of the form, is by this response. I mean, here you just take here to be like you take 
run x to the i equals run x to the i, and the map here is to the other. So you have the other thing. But this one, so for this parameter structure, you only you you can only use you right. uh, set that are distinct. Yeah, let me just write down because I want to tell you Make it so run. Joint. So we have this is a um, collection of finite subsets for each i. Anyway, I don't know how to find the case for that, but all that it means is that you take a finite subset in, in the first coordinate, in the second coordinate, they cannot, they cannot have no entity, let's say. Uh, so now, this is the one we're going correspondences, but the main point is that we have a contour modulus from this contour. Who, well, I'm going to call it at K. This is supposed to be stable, presentable, state linear category, infinity one class. But I'm just going to put it on cat K. And we'll send space X to P modules on X. And if we have a correspondent, it will be full. That will go to uh, what's hard and So, in particular, we get homonodal structure by, by composing um, this homonodal structure with the functor of the model, we get homonodal structure of the category of the on brand X. And that's what it looks like. Demos run x stuff and parameter structure on demos. Let's right. So this thing. So you're also using it's right? Yes. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Oh, for, for that. Right? oh, I guess, well, for any stack that is relevant to here, I guess at all times. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, all, all we need to do is run X. Sorry? Run X. Anyway, so yeah, explicitly what happens if we take the star one, so the star one of those is basically just the box box product, but when you take so you take the box product on x to the i and then you take ultimate. So the star i so to describe a demo to run x means to describe all the components for every um for every finite subset for any uh, finite set J, and this is going to be that's for the whole trajectory. So basically, it's similar with like just writing down the components of tensor product function. You just have to take um, all partitions of and all partitions of I, and then we have for I. So yeah, what, what will contribute to J is just box product of all the way to get J out of 
uh, I different substance. And for the current Lewis function, except that we add two foot along diagonals. And how fast the Q will have J alpha? And then the same thing. Then maybe I will give five of the definition actual definition. Algebra on X is going to be so we need an object. Oh, so this is a Lie algebra object in a parameter structure. Um, but with the condition that just so the underlying uh, D module is in the image of um, in modules on X. So there is, I mean, like, again, I have not put this, but there is a full effect for embedding the modules on X, the modules on run X, given by push forward along the main diagonal. Well, on the main diagonal. So Carol algebra is going to be a real algebra with respect to this little structure with the condition that is um, supported on the main diagonal of run X. And a list of algebra, same, but with respect to the sum node structure, which is an infinite sum um, So this Just see explicitly how we have, like, where do we see the map? Where is the time multiplication in the So, such step, such step, so A is supposed to be, so we have inside the category of the model on over four, just the underlying the model on run X is supported on the end there. So in particular, at least the algebra is supposed to be supposed to give a map from A to Cairo, like tensor product of A to A. So that means for any set a uh, final set of J, we are supposed to give a map like that. So A J, that would be one. So, um, yeah. One, two. Here, the left side, if you put a subscript, on the will be zero. Oh, right. right. All right. Yeah. So, we need a map like that. Um, so, just by definition, so we're supposed to run over all subjections from two points to two points. One option up. Is the minority from A? This is going be upper sum. And then we have here, so square. And this will map to, because so A1 tends to square, because this is corresponding to the identity map. And here we have A2, but by definition, the other one was supported on X. So A2 is the push forward along the diagonal map of A1. So in that sense, a Lee, a Carol, a Carol, um, a Lee algebra in this one structure plus this condition will give you the entire multiplication. Um, all right, so now for the definition of factorization algebra. So 
let's let's start with um B, which is a probability for algebra on the models brackets with respect to the time model structure. So in particular, we have uh, for any file subset from B uh, J to E comes over with itself with respect to the time model structure five times and then take the J component. That is going to be B J goes to direct sum over all three definitions like before. And J over R, J of both components over and B J I. So in particular, we get for any for any surjection alpha, we get a map. From a uh, by a junction, so we have a map from BJ to push forward, pull back, blah blah, and this is a left adjoint L, right? So we can move it to the left, so we have a map J alpha over three BJ to J alpha box program BJI, and we need and B uh, is factorization algebra is starting an hypermorphism for all R. So that means that away from the diagonal, B will decompose as box product of the component there. Um, yeah, I think. Right, so now, so I guess first of all, I have to say a few answers. I think I already wrote it, but now I actually have this neural structure. So the main theorem is that those two categories are equivalent. So least, first of all, the algebras on the module run X, right, the time of the structure. Equivalent to uh, co algebras on the module of run X. And then another statement is that if we take, like taking something that is supported on the main diagonal, we'll translate exactly to having the factorization for the object. So I guess now factorizing factorization for it. The map is part of the data, and then we only want this map to be an um, So this equivalence is going to be basically crucial duality. So it's going to be duality between the opera and the street. Um, So we have C a monoidal category. And operas in C are going to be algebras. And now um, in this paper, everything is augmented. I don't know if that's standard for operas and operas uh, in symmetric tickets in C and operas. Sorry? I don't think it is. Are they fine opera? Yeah. Like if it's a symmetric model like in the um cover instance. In the one cover instance, like the product tracks. Oh, okay. 
Then, given an operand, we can construct. So, even given a symmetric sequence, sequence, we can construct an endomorphism of C uh, in such a way that basically the condition. So, yeah, right. So, uh, if I have a symmetric sequence O, um, it will send X to. Direction over all n of O and tensor x to the n, and then point there with respect to the symmetric group. And the definition of the um, monoidal structure on symmetric sequences was basically so that uh, if we take now operas, algebras here, you see that will go to monads on, in endo, monads on C, which is algebra in endomorphism. And Co-operas will go to co-algebra. So common. So this one will be denoted T of so P of O, this one will be S Y T and S. So, um, first of all, so since we have a map for operas to, uh, um, to monads, we can define algebras. algebras. O algebras in C are defined as PO modules in C. So we have an action of endomorphism on C, on C, and then modules with respect to that are going to be algebras over O and co algebra. Oh, and here uh, this was chosen in the diagram of C defined as S O commodities in C. And small remark about this is I guess it's going to be quite the mark. So in the um, we can also define the entire category like, as uh, like, you know, like we can also define category of co algebra. Without the important divided power of C, and that will be correspond to X goes to a product. So if we take co algebras, in principle, we're supposed to dualize everything here. So direction is supposed to become product, co invariants are supposed to become invariants. So now all of these. Bend with respect to n. So taking product in, taking a, a direct sum instead of product is corresponding to the this potency. So this is like a co-completion to, to move from product to, to direct sum is a co-completion, and the divided power corresponding to invariant and co-invariant because 
you can identify for you guys and with any variance if you by taking some over the um, orbit and dividing by the side of the orbit. So you need to be able to divide by n factorial, which is exactly divided power. So divided power structure is not going to be relevant for us. Everything is like zero. Then you put it in. So I guess the part of the structure of the Leo operand. So the Leo operand, I don't know if have we mentioned the Leo operand before. Okay, so we have a definitive Leo operand, and I am just going to show you that. I mean the Leo operand is in the, the, the end space of the Leo operand is going to be we have polynomial other one with n generators, and then we take all possible brackets and add the divided by the Jacobian in it. That's um, anyway. Um, the power starting of the Lee operator is going to be the probability operator. Not going to prove, but idea. It's not. what it's, it's, first of all, it's, it's cooperative with code. Yeah, well, I don't know. And it's also a sh there's also the operatic suspension thing. Yeah, where is it? So there is a shift. Yeah, but it's complicated. Like it's there's this operation called operatic or cooperatic suspension, which is like it's an operation which you when you apply to like a cooperat, for example, co-modules for that cooperat are uh kind of co-algebra structures for that cooperat on the ship. So it's so <laughs> yeah, okay. that's all it's called. It's well, co community we call it unit. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. It's certainly simplify the notation at least a little bit. It's 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 this is confusing because the notation they use in the paper is they just put a ship. I think they do actually explain it's the notation. It's like it's not literally a ship because these things are not stable anyway, so it doesn't make sense, yeah. right? But it's it's more like you're kind of Conjugate, conjugate by ship. Here, here's another way. Okay, here's a way to say that this. Uh, sorry, this, I was confused about this for so long. So I hope this is helpful. So one way to think about what this c sigma is with the composition monoidal structure, right? Is there's a forgetful bump there from symmetric modal TG categories to whole TG categories, and it's in the of that forgetful bump. So it's 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 the in the morphisms on the underlying TG category of any symmetric modal TG category universally. Okay. That's a, I, mean, I kind of explained this perspective of my talk if you like it. So that's one way to think about what it is. And so this operatic suspension, there's a automorphism of that functor in fact, which is shift, right? If I have a such symmetric modal TG category, the underlying TG category has the automorphism shift, which is not symmetric modal, but it is an automorphism of the underlying TG category. And so this operatic suspension is conjugated by that automorphism. So, yeah. All right. Um, Anyway, I um so I mean I guess just yeah yeah which is again not good but it's like almost an exact sequence of D going to associative going to commute. So when you divide associative by the by by the com the commutator you get I think which is literally true, I think we take only the and then a bob operation. There is something to me. Um, all right, so in particular, what we want. So we want here, where is it? Uh, we want an equivalence between Lie algebras and co community co algebras of a given symmetric model category. So to begin with, we need a map. So what we have here is algebras over the Lie operand in the category of physics in the category, and we want to map it to co algebras over its bar. Over the the dual stack, like bar, the community. So what? We need. So we need a map, which we want to be an equivalent, but we need a map between algebras C to C 
four algebras. Um, so Uh, we are only talking about augmented operas, which means that so they will be, they will map to the trivial opera, which means in particular we have a forgetful sample from algebra to algebra over the trivial opera. It's the same. Um, and then we have after start, I think in the paper they call it like bar of O, but O there's subscript, but then it's really confusing. So I'm um, that. Um and um, uh, well I guess yeah. So the moon are corresponding to that, so taking uh, left and then le left and then the right. Going to be the same as the endomorphism given by um, so this is a common adequate junction and it's going to correspond to the power structure of um, so here is the idea. So by definition of x of bar of O applies, uh, uh, applies to x, this is like, I mean, let just indicate the definition, but what it is, and so this is the geometric realization One, one, so one. Um, and the main point, and this applies to X. And this is an important point is that the uh, applying the endomorphism to X will commute to geometric generalization. Will not be true for the cooperates, which is what makes everything difficult. But here, we, I mean, I guess because everything in the definition of the action here is we have direct time and we have co-invariance, so everything is fully in, so it's going to be used with geometric realization, but not usually, not with the conversation. But anyway, here we are good. So this is going to be the So we have the identity both with P of O or with the identity of X. And then we have two maps from that to just identity and control the identity. Next, uh, both of them given by the augmentation. Um, so mapping T of O of X to X, so like having the action of T of O of X given by the augmentation is exactly the definition of E lower star, so of epsilon lower star, sorry. So epsilon lower star is exactly composed with the, uh, with, with the augmentation and then act. So this is going to be X lower star X. And this is basically so what we're doing here is we're taking the action of Q of O and action lower star of X and we trivialize it, which is the same thing. So this is like the base chain. So it's the same thing as taking the pullback. So this is supposed to be one oh one oh one oh one X. This is the definition of that. Anyway, this is the idea. So we take a base change. So, um, but what it actually is is exactly uh, the So, yeah. Particular, we finally get the math we needed. Because we have, so we have a forget respect the as or the indication map. Algebra is here. In, uh, uh, OGC is just algebra of the trivial operator, which is the same thing as C. But then 
we say that the, uh, the adjunctive is commonality, so it's going to factor through co-modules uh, um, over that, co-modules over this uh, commonality. And what we just proved is that this is the same thing as for algebra or the bar. Again, important divided by Um, and now I'm going to say a conjecture. I have no idea what is the state of this conjecture now. Conjecture is very written. If anyone knows, please let me know. Um, but the conjecture in the paper, which is proven in the case that we need. So, uh, saying that, so inside all, the, uh, all algebras of O in C, we have mean potent algebras. So an important algebra is basically that uh, for high enough n, all n our operations will be uh, uh, trivial, no longer topic. And the second is that the composition, so here we have a map to co-algebra co over power of all and that this is an equivalence. So it is proven in the case so, so, yeah, maybe, yeah. So, that is going to be almost enough for us because another statement is that um, if, if Probably important, which I will explain in a second, then algebras are the same as the important algebras. So, C is probably important exactly if it can be written as a limit of, uh, uh, of symmetric monomial categories where we don't have, like every n hour operation, for, like a uh, tensor product is trivial for n uh, large enough. So this is uh, other such as n hourly operations will have trivially for uh, n large enough. So there exists an n that that all equals an n um, and sometimes can draw um, And I mean, this is supposed to be now. Um, and then, if the D modules of the RAM X would expect to either the carbon structure or the standard structure, let's say for the carbon structure, is probably important. And yeah, I mean, I don't know yeah, it's probably actually a proof of this. We can write, uh, we have on run x, we have this filtration with respect to cardinality, the number of points that we have, and like the, the cardinality of this uh, subset. So this one, the weekend, calling it f. The odds of run less or equal than n. So, in particular, it's more important. So, using this statement that new potent algebras are equivalent to co uh, new potent divided power co algebras, is actually going to even make the make this ironic.
coherence that uh, maybe I mean I guess. So yes, yeah, so these are from algebras to uh, co algebras is you what are the So it's basically just the applying, I mean, I guess the bar construction. Uh, and and I guess one of the okay, but well, yeah, this so this is the equality well, again. The theorem is that the dual duality from the to um, um, which is going to be the same as the Chavale algebra complex from Lie algebra in the order on um, uh, is an so in that case this is an equal right. Um, so this is basically following from uh, yeah, so I'm not proving so first of all the conjecture for uh, I guess wrong real and and maybe oh for you voted and we also need uh, first case is point, I think. So we only have one, uh, one hour of operations. Um, and that gives an equivalence from the important algebra to the important co algebra. And then, so, but then we know that the, the D modules on run X itself is called important. So algebra on on run x and algebras x and that is the same as well the probability opera so here we have the golden divided power on run x and then this is going to be the same as just all for uh for the uh, for community for algebras because by the combination of the fact that we are working for x zero so everything has a divided power structure and the fact that the models on run x is uh from Um, so the last thing to prove is that it will, uh, I mean, let's say, so the last thing to talk about is why it will restrict to an equivalence between um, okay, Carl algebras and factorization. So just one quick comment, this conjecture is done actually. Oh, yeah, okay. General. So there's a comment from Mark 267, well, somewhere in Dietrich Rosenblum, we have added in November 2021. It turned out this conjecture is false. It's false for CV fact and OB the opera actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so it's devastatingly false. So you you very yeah. you, you can take a infinite dimensional vector space with kind of the zero co-algebra structure that'll be useful and apparently it's the like conjunction plus the answer. All right. Well, well Anyway, in this case, yeah. <laughs> so second theorem, theorem is that that will restrict equivalence uh, and the parallel algebra on X is resetting algebra.
So So by definition of the Kamala Arab, I guess, yeah, by definition of Kamala Arab in complex A, that's A spiral algebra, X, the Kamala Arab in complex of A, and C, A, shifted by one. Uh, and this is filtered by the best way. And so just as usual, we have so we can take uh, the uh, associated gradient. So the associated gradient of uh, the Chevrolet Iber complex is exactly C N. The associated gradient is actually the same. This is what you're doing, yeah. But, but you wrote the Chevrolet out. This. Oh! Uh, Some filtration. So the gate goes, yeah. Okay. Is, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Is the gradient the nth gradient is so we can take like what it means explicitly here. Let's say just say instead of n, let's take a finite a finite i. So this is that so I can pop it a. So this is going to be taking the i chiral tensor product of a with itself, uh, uh, with itself, and then taking invariant with respect to the symmetric group. Um, and this is again a demodul on run x. So we, uh, we can describe this J component. So J component that is going to be direct sum always over all projections because this is again just a description of how simple product J Then here that. Here the shift are getting um, this propagation. Oh, that and then they can put the space in alpha. So this is the J component of that. And let's say, in particular, what is the i component? i component of group i. So this is going to be projections. So, so this is just going to be like so. We take yeah, like uh, uh, so we, we don't just take the main diagonal because I okay. so J I okay, for the main day identity of I and here we have uh, a one by one B and those for that I so the I component of girl I is exactly what we want in the result of the factorization uh, property. So basically what we want from, uh, a, like if we want uh, the shallow algebra complex of A to have factorization property, we only want the I component to survive. So in the complex of A is 
J is zero for any J which is not. And then that is always immediate. I mean, I, I, see, yeah. I see the step here, which is that in theory, we have, we're supposed to prove the factorization property, not just for uh, the main diagonal, but for any diagonal, but then you just have to prove kind of by induction that it is enough to prove it just for the main diagonal. So let's pretend this is really all we have to prove. So, Yeah, um, not that, but the J, I, J, I, yeah, that's the main point. So we want that when we restrict it to the diagonal, this is zero. So, it's J sub J, right? Yeah, J sub J. So this is restriction to the complement of the diagonal. Um, and then um, and then this so yeah, okay, so. This is going to be zero precisely if this is supported on a diagonal. Uh, J of J is supported on a diagonal. So for i equal j, this just it's not going to happen. But for i equal j, we just have box product k with itself and times about i times. Uh, but for j not equal to i, we can have no we have non-trivial diagonals. So this is uh, k itself. So the i like the j component of k is going to be pushed forward by a diagonal of some diagonal. Okay, let's say a j minus um, so this is and we need that for all i and j so that means this is given on the e and it's just pushed forward by the main diagonal of a one or of j okay and this is a push forward by an angle of a. So, say it again, but the main idea is here we have uh, a, a ji uh, component of a1. So, if that is supported in a diagonal, when we take that, when we restrict the diagonal, we get zero. So, we need that to be, so, except if this one is a point, and then, uh, um, except if, if J i is just a single element, and in that case, there is no diagonal, it's just supported on this. So for any J i, for the knowledge of J i greater than one, we need, we, in order for that to be zero, we need exactly that, that will be supported in the diagonal. All right, I think that's enough. Conference, 
All right, let's take this speaker once more.